And it's all right for God women that are holy and saved and sanctified to wear makeup and jewelry and give me Bible to justify it and Bible where the woman exists before the word of God. The word. It ain't no one living got Bible to justify it neither. No. This is Bible talking, not Pastor Jennings. But them that are without, God judges. Give chapter and verse. 1 Corinthians 5, still at verse 13. So if you get mad, get mad at the Bible. That's right. There's nobody going to stand here and keep talking and talking with no Bible. Right. Listen. But them that are without, God judges. I'll be back in August. God willing, I'll be back in August. Amen. I'll be back in August, and if there's anybody else in Jamaica, got Bible, where women, you got Bible? Do you got Bible? You got Bible that women, that we ain't dealing with nothing else. I don't want to hear nothing else. I don't want to hear nothing else. All I want is Bible where the women can look like Jezebel. Amen. That's what I'm dealing with. I want Bible. You raise your hand because you got Bible. What you want to debate me about? I don't want a lot. What you want to debate Pastor Jennings about? Assalamu alaikum, salaikum salam. What you want to debate Pastor, you Sunni Muslim? You a Muslim? All right, brother Muslim, what you want to debate Pastor Jennings about? He pork? All right, come on to the microphone. All right, get him a microphone quick. Get him a microphone quick. Now you better move quick. These who have sold in the shambles. Right, first minute. Got it. And the kingdom of God is not in me to drink. Right. Got it, Pastor. All right, brothers, don't move slow. Give the Muslim brother a microphone, please. Don't move slow. Give him a microphone, please. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, brother. How you doing? Peace and blessings, brother. Peace and blessings to you, too. What's taking you, brother, so long with a microphone? Down to my viewers. Everybody sit down and be quiet. Everybody be quiet and pay attention. What's your name, brother? Yes, brother yes, Rasul. Brother Rasul. Yes, sir. Brother Rasul, we thank you for being present. We're going to deal with Bible. All right? We're just going to deal with Bible. You can bring up Quran all you want, but I'm dealing with Bible. I'm not dealing with Quran. I'm dealing with Bible. Now, make sure his microphone is working. I don't want it in and out. Sound check. Sound. Because according to Islam, they're supposed to know how to product, conduct themselves, whether they're in church, mosque, or synagogue. Correct? All right? Now, you want to talk to me about pork. Brother Rasul, have the microphone. Peace to everybody that's here. First, first before I get into it, I want to say um, I'm glad to meet you. Pleasure to meet I, you too, brother. I, I, I respect you. I like what you teach. Yes, sir. I'm not here to get in an argument of who's right or who's wrong. Yes, sir. I'm here because I don't know everything. Right. I don't it. know everything and either. And I don't care where I learn it from. Only the creator knows true. all. As yes, long sir. as it's true. Yes, sir. The first time, the first time I turned on my TV and I saw your group on the TV, I was kind of mad. I, I thought he was the nation of Islam. Yes, most people do think. I thought, and I, and I started looking because the way you set up your, your congregation, dressed like the nation, everything. I thought it was the nation of Islam. Yes, sir. And before I get into it, let me, let me say this. Um, I'm a Muslim. The yes. nation of Islam is something different. Yes, yes, it is. It's something different. I agree. So when you 
beat upon the Muslims or the nation of Islam, don't say it's the Muslims you beat upon. All right. You understand? Because I see some of your stuff and I tell you the truth. You messed them up. All right. <laughs> you understand? Yes, sir. But that's not the Muslims. Yes, sir. In order to be Muslim, there's certain things we have to follow. I agree. Prayer, zakat, all of those things. We believe in one God. We don't believe in no other God. Yes, sir. No we, Father, we believe in one God. You understand me? We don't believe okay. in another but one. Okay. All right. No, my thing is the other day, I, I, I watch you a lot. Yes. I watch everybody because I like to learn. And I was one thing, and I heard a brother on the YouTube ask you, is it okay to eat pork? Yes. And you said, yes. Yes. Very proudly, yes. Yes. Eat anything. God made nothing unclean. All right. Bless it and eat it. That's right. what I've been grown up. That's what I was raised yes. to teach myself. But the Bible tells me. Yes. In the beginning, when God created, I don't know the Bible like you. That's all right. Right? I can't tell you about probably some things. I will ask you where it is. You can tell. I can quote it, but you can tell me where to find yes, it. Yes, sir. But anyway. When God created heaven and earth and the humans and all the things, he gave them instruction as to what to eat. Yes. And what not to eat. Yes. What to do, what not to do. Mm -hmm. You understand? Jesus. Will you call Jesus? I call him Esau. Esau. Yes. yes. We say the same. Right? Thing. But Jesus came and he said, think not that I come to change the law. Yes. Think not that I come to change the law. What did he come to do? Um, fulfill it right. or, or, or explain it to them when they know it because they didn't understand it good. Well said. He Some of them didn't understand it. So he came to explain it just like he did with the Sabbath. Yes. He explained it to them. Uh -huh. Say so if something is happening, it's not by purpose that you broke the Sabbath, but there's an incident. So do the incident and continue the thing. Yes, Even sir. me, you probably know today is Ramadan. Yes, it is. You understand? And certain things can happen in accident that might cause me to slip up with my Ramadan, yes. but it won't be intentional, right. so I keep going. Anyway, right. God said, don't eat the pork. Okay. By the split hoof and the chewing of the cord. Yes. He tells you what to eat and not to eat. Yes, and sir. one of them was the pork, yes. the swine. Right. Jesus said, which I accept as my prophet, yes, sir. that he didn't come to change any law, and any man change the law it would be required of him. You might know the scripture better than I. Yes. Not heaven and earth shall pass away. But none of these scriptures, none of these words shall pass away. And you just said today, uh, a little while ago, God don't make mistakes. Right. And I believe that. Yes. But then I came a man named Paul. Yes. Who, to this day, I cannot understand where he got his authority from. Oh. To change God's law. Do you believe that Paul changed God's law? Yes, I did. So, if God said don't do it and Paul said do it. If God said circumcise and Paul said don't circumcise. Do you believe? God, let me ask you something, Brother Russell. You believe? You said you don't know where Paul got his authority from? To change God's law. He didn't change it, but I do want to show you where he got his authority from. To change the law? He didn't change the law. He but I you, just he want did, he did, by, by his law, no, you can eat pork and you no longer circumcise. It wasn't Paul's law. Did the Bible ever say it was Paul's law? The, God's law is to circumcise and right. don't eat pork. Right. That's God's law. All right, now, can Paul I help you? Paul says, yes. you don't have to circumcise. Circumcise the heart. Yes. Paul says, eat the pork. God made nothing unclean. Yes. But when God created the animals, he told you, yes. this is clean and this is unclean. Yes. When Noah was building the ark. Yes, sir. He told them, gather, I think, seven of every kind. Seven, seven of the clean and, and, put them in the ark. and the unclean and by two. Two of each kind of the unclean. Yes. And put them in the ark. But yet you say God made nothing unclean. No, I never said God didn't make nothing unclean. Well, Paul said it. He said, eat. God make nothing unclean. Bless it. All right. Eat it. All right. Now, Brother Russell, first of all, let's see where Paul got his knowledge from. In the book of Galatians chapter 1, and we'll start reading at verse 11. It says what? But I certify you, brethren. That I certify you, brethren. That the gospel which was preached of me. The gospel, this is Paul preaching. Paul said the gospel that he preached. Is not after man. Now, if he said it's not after man, he let you know it didn't come from him either. Because, just a minute, because he's a man. All right. For I neither received it of man. And neither did he get his teaching of man. Neither was I taught it. Nor was he taught it. 
but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. It was revealed to Paul what to preach. So Paul got his message the same way the prophets got theirs. They got it by the self same spirit, the one God of the universe. Now, can I ask him? Yes, sir. Paul got the same message that they got. Shouldn't it be the same message? Shouldn't it, if Paul got the message from God, yes. as the other prophets or apostles, yes. shouldn't it be the same message? It is the same message. No eat pork. I'm going to show you what. Circumcised. Yes. Shouldn't it be the same? It is the same. So we're, we're, You just don't same? understand what it means. You eat pork? No. But I, I don't eat it because the Old Testament say I don't. I, eat, I don't eat it because I don't like it. What I mean? I don't eat beef. What I mean is that you, you okay to be eating. I heard, I heard I'm going to show you why. But, but, but isn't that change? No. Isn't that change? No. If God said don't do it. Listen, Brother Rasul, yeah. let me explain what it meant. All right? Let me explain what the Old Testament meat to abstain from represent in the New Testament. Yes. You see, in the Old Testament, it was a lot of fleshy ordinances, commandments, fulfill the flesh for the satisfaction of the flesh. You offered up sacrifices. You ain't offering up sacrifices now. You're okay. offering up lambs or you're offered up goats. But when you offered up the meat offering, it couldn't have a spot. It couldn't have a blemish. But yet we ain't doing it now because the Bible don't command it for it to be done. Now, who changed that? God brought about change. Just a minute, let me answer you. The reason why, let me help you. Listen, there are things that God gave under the time of Moses that was good for Israel. We're not doing it now. They were baptized in the cloud, in the sea, under Moses. We ain't baptized in the cloud, in the sea, under Moses now. They took blood from an unspotted lamb, put it over the doorpost so the death angel can pass by. We're not putting blood of a lamb now over our doorpost, doorpost, yet we are covered by blood of a lamb. And that lamb is Jesus. I want to teach you. Now, the Old Testament pork, the Old Testament dietary law. The Old Testament was a shadow. For the law. Follow me in your Bible. In the book of Hebrews chapter 10 and we're at verse one. Listen. For the law having a shadow of good things to come. Now, Brother Rasul, that's your shadow right on the, on the floor, correct? But is that actually you? You're the actual person, but that's the shadow. So Rasul would be the actual good thing to come. The shadow is not the real thing, but it looked like it. It moved like it, but it ain't the real thing. Listen, that's the Bible. Can Are I you ask you for the law? Yes, yes, Brother, yes sir. Can I ask one question before you go into further? Dormitory? You believe in the Old Testament now? What came in the New Testament from the old, we still hold. So, so, so that's what I'm saying, you don't no longer believe in the Old Testament. Oh yes, I believe the Bible, Jesus says this, all things must be fulfilled. So, now, so you still you. accept the Old Testament? Let me, let me answer you, brother. Jesus said, all things must be fulfilled that are written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. So there are many things in the Old Testament that did not come in the New Testament. Exactly, but it don't change. You said God law don't change. He don't make mistakes. All right. God don't change. And he don't make mistakes. Uh, let me finish. God don't change, mm -hmm. but God changed things. Does he not? Yes, I would say that. Oh, does he not? But he's not going to change his law. Just a minute. If he changed his law, then something was wrong. No. Yes, That's if he changed his law then he did something wrong, all and right. he didn't do anything wrong. All right. That's how I would look at it. Let, all right, let's eliminate how you look at it. Mm. Because if you go by the law, can the law make you perfect? If I follow it. 
If I follow the law, the law can make you perfect. If I follow the law, all right, let's see what the Bible says about that. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 8. Follow me. Yeah, I remember and that. And verse 7. Yes, follow me in the Bible. Follow me in the Bible. Hebrews, chapter 8, and at verse 7. That's what? For if that first covenant had been faultless, if the first covenant had no fault, then should no place have been sought for the second. Then it wouldn't be no place for the second. For finding fault with them, finding fault fault with them. He said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, yes. when I will make a new covenant. You see, the Lord came and made a new covenant so with, a with the house of covenant. Because God found so there fault. Was fault in the old covenant. There was fault in the people and what the people was following. I'm talking about just, God's word. What just a minute. In God's word. Just a minute, brother Rasul. There's no fault in God. I'm not talking about I'm talking about God's word. Was that fault? Can I can I finish, brother? There's no fault in God. But many of the ordinances, let me answer you in Romans Bible. chapter 8. Says what? Romans 8 and at verse 3. Yes. For what the law could not do. Listen. There are certain things the law couldn't do. I'm not Hold it. I don't want you to think I'm making this up. There were certain things the law could not do. The book said. For what the law could not do. The Bible says what the law could not do. In that it was weak. The law was weak. Through the flesh. Through the flesh. God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful the flesh. The Bible says finding fault. Finding fault. Back in Hebrews chapter 8 and at verse 8. That's what? For finding fault with Finding them. Fault with them. He saith, Behold, the days come, the saith days the, Lord, say of the Lord, when I will make a new covenant. You see, a new promise. What is the promised land for God's people now? Is it the land of Canaan or would it be New Jerusalem? Because you said that he didn't change nothing. According to the Bible, it would be Jerusalem. It was New Jerusalem, correct? According to the Bible. So a change was made. I never said God don't turn, change, change things. No. I agreed with you. I said the law that he gave. If he gave me a law not to do, and then tell me later to do, that means that something was wrong in that. All right, now, that's, that's, you know. Moses allowed them to divorce their wife. Moses did, correct? I think so, yeah. But God says, from the beginning, it wasn't so. That's what God says. Moses. God says his real intentions was not divorce. In fact, God went as far as saying he hate divorce. But Moses, Moses said, you can divorce her. God, God said he hates it. Good point. Good point. Good point, brother. He hates it. Yeah, good point. So but then, God's intention, none of this is what we're going through. It was God's intention. What, none, none of what? None of this lifestyle, this whole living, the way we live on earth, being on earth, living sinful we was created perfect with god yes. it was sin so none of this what we living through today is what god ex god ex ex expected us to live with him in paradise right as holy children of his i agree so all of this was mistakes of our own that caused all this to happen to be on earth living like this right so as, as so as i don't blame god for that right i agree you can't blame god for what we done right but it don't change what god wants us to do to get right with him Right, but so, it was not God's fault. I still can't understand this pork thing. If I, God said, don't do it. Let me explain There's it. no way later. Brother Rasul. If you say, if you say, if you say to me. Yes, sir. According to the Bible. Yes, sir. That I must be baptized. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus Christ. I must be baptized. Yes, that's what the book says. Some, somewhere down the future. And that's what the book says. Yes. Somebody can come and later and tell me, say, you don't have to be baptized in the name All of right, Jesus. All right, now, hold it. Now, now, you know what? You understand me, sir? I'm glad you made... This big pastor come now, yes. uh, and him say, because him big and him... He say, you no longer have to be baptized in the name of Jesus. Now, but it's what's in the Bible. Right. Now, let, I'm so glad you say that, because before the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ was here... Let me help you. The pork we're dealing with, you know. I just use that as an example. All right, all right. I, I, I'm going to get the baptism, and then we're going to go back to Miss, to Miss Piggy. We, we'll do that. <laughs> now, according to the book, there's three water baptisms. Three of them. Moses, he was baptized in the cloud in the sea. God came along and changed him. Can't be baptized like that no more. John the Baptist come along. He was baptized into repentance. John said, I'm not the light but I come to bear witness of the light. God done away with that. 
Now he come along and instituted the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, which is the last water baptism. God did away with all those baptisms? Oh, yes, because in the 19th chapter of the book of Acts, John disciples was holding on to John baptism. But when Paul came in town... That's the thing, Paul! No, 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 let me help you. Before Paul even came on the scene, the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ was already in place because Paul got baptized himself in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, you can't blame nothing on Paul. Paul said, do I persuade men or is it God? Paul. None of the writings, none of the preaching is Paul. The, the eating of pork is Paul. All right, let me tell And don't circumcise is Paul. Circumcise is from God. Not eating pork is from God. Let, 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 let me prove to you otherwise. Don't eat Hold it. crabs and eat fish with scales. What do you want to deal That's with? You want to God. deal with pork? And circumcision well, or just bro pork? Brother, to be honest with you, I, I, I just came to, 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 to try to get a debate. I didn't come to debate well, right you got now. It now. Yeah, so I'm not really prepared. But it's pork. Well, that's one All right, thing. Let's deal with pork. Let's, let's with talk the pork. about pork. All right. And now. the Paul. And Paul. Because Paul is who. Paul is one who changed it to me. All right. All and right. Barnabas. All right. Let's not even Peter. Yes. Wanted Paul around. All right. Let me help it you. It was out. it was true persuasion and fear of Paul. Yes. That they accepted him. Yes. And even Barnabas. Didn't even want Barnabas left. All right. I don't want to be with because he's changing what Jesus taught. That's right. what Barnabas said so, in the Bible. So Paul spoke on his own accord. If he, yes, because he said you to eat pork. Give me the book of he's Peter. He's gonna say he's God's word. When he's, if you, you know, you know, you, you said it today. Oh, you know what a false prophet is. Yes. Oh, you know what a false prophet is. Yes. The one who don't teach what the book says. Is Paul a false prophet? Yeah. He said eat pork. All right. All right, yes, so, he brother, said he'd pour, he poor. He went against God, brother. Brother Rasul, he went against Christ. Brother he Ra went against God, so he's a false prophet because he went against what Christ taught. Christ didn't change no law. He said, "Think not that I come to change the law, but heaven and earth shall pass away before one of these laws brother pass Rasul, away, but to fulfill it." Brother Rasul, yes, sir. The Muslims look to get in paradise, correct? I hope we all do. Is paradise the kingdom of God? That would be the kingdom of God to us, correct? Yeah, yeah heaven, heaven. You All call right. it say so heaven, we say paradise. Is heaven based upon meat and drink? No, I don't think so. My local knowledge, no. It isn't? Not my knowledge. Then why are you hung up on it? Because I'm on earth. All right. Earth, I'm doing the earthly thing. All I right. don't think in heaven they eat meat and then something like that. Let's see I don't know. What the kingdom of God is not. Listen Romans up. chapter 14. Oh, so. Let's go. Let's it, you know. The book said, right. eat. Don't eat. Brother Rasul. Married if you want to have sex. The book gives me a guideline how to live. Exactly. And I'm going to stick with the book how to live. Now just let me read. All right. Romans chapter 14 and at verse 17. Listen. For the kingdom of God is Wait not... Wait a minute. What? For the kingdom of God... Paradise. Heaven. Is what? Is not me. Heaven don't have nothing to do with your diet. Right. It have nothing to do with what you eat and drink and it don't have nothing to do with what you drink but righteousness but it have to do with living right and peace and having peace salam and joy in the holy ghost and joy in god Amen. heaven paradise have nothing to do with your diet i agree right here i, ag I agree in so heaven. Your diet is for you on right, earth. Right, but wait a minute. But before you get... What God gave, what the Lord that God gave is for us to live on earth, not in paradise. But brother Rasul, yeah. before you can get to paradise, you got to live by something right here, correct? That, that's right. So therefore, for me to get there, the Bible is plainly telling me... How to live. How to live where? On earth. All right, so... What, what, what has how to, to eat, well, how to deal with the woman, don't have sex, you want to have sex, exactly. married one. He give you a, a guide yes. for everything. It don't say do as you, eat, eat anything. You can't eat anything, Pastor. So the kingdom of God is for, not what? For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. For, for, wait a minute. Before I can earth. get there, yeah. before I can get there, what I do down here has to do with me getting there. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So therefore, the meat and drink down here don't have nothing to do with me getting up there yes it does because no, it if you if you if you if you in, in if you polluting yourself yes with filth yes with filth then you forbid your temple 
supposed to be holy. Yes. Or try to make it holy. Yes. You understand? And we don't put unholy things in All right, it. Unrighteous, give me first Timothy, unrighteous things according to what God says. You're going to tell me what Paul said. No, no, I'm not. I'm telling you what the Bible says. First Never Timothy. mind Paul. Never mind Paul. The Bible says this. All scriptures are given by the inspiration of God, not by the inspiration of Paul. It says all scripture. Let me finish. But if Paul is teaching something different, that's not from God. Listen. Pastor, I respect you. Brother Rasul. If you tell me, if you telling me yes. that this is from God and you give it to me. Use, use pastor, the microphone, Brother Rasul. There's many things. Yes, sir. Many things. I watch you all the time. Yes, sir. That you agree. I agree with you. Yes, sir. I shake your hand. I say, yeah, that, I love that brother. Yes, sir. More than any pastor out here, you're doing a good job. Let me shake your hand for you. Yes, you're doing sir. a Thank good you, job. A very good job. Thank you, sir. You understand? You're against these homosexuals and the way we should dress men or female or addressing the homosexuality that's taking over Jamaica. Yes, sir. You understand? You're, I love the way you preach. And you're against all these fake pastors that's taking people money. Yes, sir. And doing their own things with it. I respect you. I have a lot of respect for you. But the Bible, where you go against preaching, I say, I'm a Muslim. I don't ex I'm going tell you the truth. I don't expect... Um, respect the Bible fully, not 100%, because I believe it's polluted. Yes, most Muslims don't. Yeah, we believe it's been tampered with. Mm -hmm. New version, new version, new version, new version. But where there is truth, we accept it. Yes. And no Muslim can deny the Bible, or else he can't be a Muslim, because it's the Bible that guides you to Islam. It's the Bible that guides you to Prophet Muhammad. Well, why would you believe something that you believe is polluted? No, no, no. I said I don't. Listen to me. I said I don't believe. I just tell you I don't believe the Bible 100. But there is truth in the Bible. Okay. There is truth. All right. You understand? And you have to be able to accept that truth. And you ask Allah for, for guidance and accepting that truth. All right. And I can't get the understanding, no matter how I pray, yes. that I should eat pork where God tell me don't. He said don't. He don't make mistakes. He don't change his law. Yes. And you're right. telling me to accept, no, that it's changed. Now I'm going to deal with scripture, okay? Yeah. Give me scripture that God changed the law, I'm, not I'm, Paul, I'm, not I'm, Paul. I'm, I'm, never mind Paul. Yeah. This has nothing to do with Paul. Let's get scripture. Listen. First Timothy chapter 4, we're starting at verse 1. All right. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. Wait a minute. It says the Spirit speak expressly. And we must agree there's only one spirit and God is that spirit. God is the spirit. God is the spirit, the creator no of the spirit. universe. No other spirit, just and God. The, and the scripture is plainly saying the spirit is speaking, not Paul. Speaking to who now? Who is he, he speaking to? He's speaking to the world. Okay. The word of God is for the world. All right, listen. Now the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. The latter times are the last days and we must agree. These are the last days now. They're going to depart from the faith, meaning they're going to leave the belief of God. All right? Giving heed to seducing spirits. They're going to give heed and be seduced by other spirits. And, and, and doctrines of devils. Oh. Now the Bible says, doctrine of devils mean the teachings of the wicked. And now the Bible going to specifically itemize what are the teachings of the wicked if it's taught today. And remember... It ain't never said Paul speaking. Spirit speaking. Said the spirit is speaking. And you and I agree the spirit is God. All right. Speaking lies in hypocrisy. Having speaking lies in hypocrisy. And hypocritic. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron. All right. Forbidding to marry. That's one false teaching if you teach today. They forbid to marry. And, and what else they teach today? And commanding to abstain from meats which God has created. To be received with thanksgiving. Who said that? Hold on. The Spirit you... speaketh expressly. Come on over here. <laughs> First Timothy chapter 4. Everybody be quiet. I want Brother Russell to hear it. First Timothy chapter 4. We'll start again at verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy having their conscience seared with a hot iron. At verse three, forbidding to marry uh -huh. and commanding to abstain from meats, uh -huh. which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. Who said that, Paul or the Spirit? The Spirit speaketh expressionally. Do you agree with that? I Paul write that. Paul didn't write that. Yeah, that's, that's 
Bible says Timothy. That's Paul. Paul, no. The Bible says who's talking? The Spirit speaketh expressly. Can I, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I get him to read a verse for me? Yes. I help you. What, what do you want him to read? Genesis, the beginning I got but do you, but you, do you agree with that? Because the Spirit said it, not Paul. Do you agree with the Spirit? Because you said it's God. Now, do you agree with God? Brother, brother, I agree with God. I agree with the Spirit. There are letters that Paul wrote to the churches. On his own? You're going to say it's the Spirit. But I can't. Where did Paul come from? He just popped out of nowhere. He, Paul, he who was crucifying Christians, killing the Christians. Yes. He just came out of nowhere on his road to Damascus. Uh -huh. And a lightning saw he, Je Jesus, this is what I want to know. Jesus, yeah. when he was leaving, see what I'm trying to, if you can give me the authority of Paul, I can accept Paul. If you can give me where his authority come from. Jesus said to his disciples. I have a pretense to make you a minister of the 19th chapter book of Acts. I'm going to give you Paul authority. Hold it right there. You asked me to give you where Paul authority came from. Yeah. The ninth chapter. Read quick. Let's see where Paul authority came from. Amen. The reason why God appeared unto him for this purpose. For this purpose. Come on, man. You got to move quick now. What are you reading now? The chapter of what? The book of Acts of the Apostles. Paul! Paul is justifying himself. No, wait, wait, no, no. Somebody Paul. else have to justify you. Paul. The prophets justified Jesus. Paul. You understand? The prophets Listen. justified Moses. Brother Russell. They just, Acts chapter 26. Brother Russell. I'm going to give you script. Listen, Brother yeah. Rosso, just a minute, just a minute. I'm going to give you scripture where Paul got his authority but from. But he's saying that. No, Who, he's not. Who's backing it up? Paul did. Who's backing it up? God is. I'm going to prove it. Let me prove it. Barnabas, Acts who was Barnabas? 26. Who was Barnabas? Just a minute. Barnabas rejected him. Just a minute. Peter, which is the foundation, Just a minute. rejected him. Brother Rosso, yeah. you asked me to prove to you where he got his authority from, my brother. Mm -hmm. Are you going to let me do it? Go ahead, brother. All right, let me do it. Acts chapter 26, and we'll start at verse 15. What's that? He said you like that? Yeah, I like it. You like it. the way the scriptures is? I like what they want. I can have it? Yes. Uh, it's not mine. Who Bible is that? He wants to know, can he have it? Yes, you can have it. Really? Yes, you can have it. Thank you. I will take it. All right. Yeah. All right. I want to show, I want to show Brother Rasul where Paul got his authority from. Amen. All right. Acts chapter 26 and we we'll started verse 15. And I said, who art thou, Lord? I said... Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. Yes. But rise and stand upon thy feet. Rise and stand on thy feet. For I have appeared unto I thee. I have appeared. Unto thee. Unto thee. For this purpose. For this reason. To make thee a minister. To make thee a minister. And a witness. And a witness. Both of those things which, which thou hast seen. And of those things into which I appear unto thee. Did Paul get his authority from God? Delivering them from the people. Did Paul get his authority from God? And from the Gentiles. Did Paul, Brother Rasul, mm -hmm. just answer me. According to what he read, did Paul get his authority from God? Because God said, I appeared unto thee to make thee a minister. Did God I'm going to answer. I'm not afraid to answer you. Yes. Paul got his authority from God according to the scripture, according to what Paul says. Paul didn't write that. Who wrote it? Paul wasn't even an apostle yet. Hold on a minute. That story is telling you how he was made. So let me ask his question then. When Jesus said, when Jesus said at the last supper yes. with his disciples. Yes. And, and, and thank you, brother. You may, I was kind of scared of you. With you don't have you to be scared, brother. You deal with Vegas, but you deal with me The only good. reason why I dealt with Vegas right. like it's that is right, because my Vegas <laughs> is unrolling. All right. Let's and go. you must admit, if he would have been in the mosque, the mosque would have dealt with the more rougher than that. <laughs> Am I right, Russell? <laughs> you know I'm telling the truth. That's why you're laughing. <laughs> but, um, yes, yes back to, to, to Jesus now. Yes. The Last Supper. Yes. Jesus was going away. And he said to his disciples. Yes. He said, fear not. I might get That's a little right. wrong, but you fix it That's up for right. me. He said, fear not that I should leave you. Because I, I got to go. Yes. And if I don't go, the comforter can't come. Yes. And he said, when I, when he said, when I leave, listen to this carefully, you know, it's your Bible. Yes, sir. He said, when I leave, you shall see me no more. Yes. Never again. Yes. 
But did they see him again? Well, after? a minute now. Then there's a contradiction. No, it's not. He said, when I leave, you shall see me no more. Oh, I'm so... Never, ever again Brother until Russell. that last day. Uh, he Brother said, Russell. so how Paul see him? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. How did Paul see him, brother? Let, let me he help. told him, say, oh. you can't see me no more. You see? Anything you want, ask the Father. In my name, yes. and he, the Father, yes. will give it. I'm done. My work is done. Yes. I'm done. You now see me again. I'm so glad. So, oh, Paul, buck him up. Or are you going to let me help you? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, Your God, turn. Your because turn I, I understand what you quoted so perfectly. And I'm going to break it down and make it plain. Now, when he said, you shall see me no more. But yet, they saw him after his resurrection. Did, no, did, no, no, no. The resurrection was first, before that. No, 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 it wasn't. All right, let me help you. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right, you're right you're he's right, told right. his disciples right. it was before his crucifixion. Yeah, you're right. He said, right. I go away. Right. If I go right. not away, the comfort will not come. Mm -hmm. He Tell said, me. when I go, you shall see me. No more. The last no, one was before no more. the crucifixion? Oh, yes. It was before. Well, I, just, I just learned something. So, now, he said, you shall see me no more. After he rose from the dead, he was seen again. So now the question is, what did Jesus mean when he said, you shall see me no more? There's something about Jesus that would be never seen again. Something about it. And what is now, that? let me help you. I want to give you a revelation. Let's read where he said, you shall see me no more. The, and then I want the 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians. First Corinthians. Follow me, follow me. I want to help Brother Russell. In the book of St. John chapter 16, and we'll start reading at verse eight. All right, read quick. And when he which come he will reprove the world of sin yes. and righteousness and of judgment of sin because they believe not on me of righteousness because I go to my father I go to my father and ye see me no more wait a minute you see me how and ye see me no more now brother Rasul the Bible don't contradicts itself the problem is we lack understanding so if we lack understanding and lack revelation then it sounds like the Bible contradicts itself. So I lack understanding. You lack understanding. That's why I'm going to help you hold right on now. A minute, hold on a minute. So the only person that have understanding, I have to have this Holy Ghost or something. I, that, that's how I get understanding. The Holy Ghost. I'm asking. That's why I lack understanding. I don't have the Holy Ghost. The Bible says no man mm -hmm. can say Jesus Christ is Lord except <clears throat> by the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. You need the Holy Spirit because the revealer <laughs> of truth is almighty god so i'm asking you no pastor yes, i'm sir. a muslim yes sir i don't have the holy ghost you i know you don't so you need the holy ghost so wait a minute so i can't get the understanding of god you can get the understanding if someone teaches i don't you. i can't understand what i'm going through you can understand what you're going through but we're mm. not you may understand some things you're what what through. is it what is it that brought me to the i don't accept christianity i don't either but i accept god so do i what is it that brought me there to accept that there is a God, one God, without having the Holy Ghost, Faith without you. being baptized. Let me, exp let me explain. Because you heard something that you believe. And the scripture says, faith come by hearing. Mm -hmm. Hearing by the word of God. Now let me, let me hold it just a minute. But you just tell me, say, I have no understanding. You're not, you're not understanding what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. N yeah, you're right, I don't. That's you're why right. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> I don't. So let me help you understand it. All right, let's straighten it out. Jesus said, you shall see me no more. You agree to that, correct? That's what he said. The 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians, begin at verse 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, we'll start at verse 1. That's what? Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. All right. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received. That what? How that Christ... Died for, Christ our died for our sins according to the scriptures according to the scriptures Christ died right and that he was buried according to the scripture and he was buried according and to the scripture according to the scriptures all right and, and that he rose God. again the third he day he rose again the third day according, according to, the to the scriptures all right and that he was seen of Cephas wait a minute after he rose he was seen of Peter then of the twelve then the twelve disciples saw him after that after that he was seen of above 500 brethren at once about 500 above more than 500 brethren saw them at one time 
of whom the greater part remain unto this present. Then what? But some have fallen asleep. And then some died. After that. After that. He was seen of James. James saw him. Then of all the apostles. Then all of his apostles saw him after his resurrection. And last of all. Last of all. He was seen of me also as of one born out of due time. And yet Jesus said, you shall see me no more. Let me, let me I know. I, I want to say this. I did acknowledge that. I, you taught me something there. I didn't know that the, 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 the Last Supper, the Last Supper, you know, uh, you don't have to clap. When, I'm, when you're right, you're right. I didn't know that the Last Supper was before the crucifixion. Yes, the Last Supper so was before it. I had that mixed up. Yes. You understand me? Yes, sir. I had that mixed up where he said, you shall see me no more. I thought it was after the crucifixion. No, when sir. When he had the last, wasn't there a meal he had after the crucifixion? What's that now? Wasn't there a meal he had with them after the crucifixion? After the Wasn't crucif there a re gathering? Yes, after he rose, mm -hmm. he appeared to his apostles. Didn't they have some meat on a table and, and, and meal and talk? Was, and he appeared unto them. And I'm so glad you brought that up because this goes back to what you said, you shall see me no more. You mm -hmm. see, when he told his apostles that, he was flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. He was flesh and blood. Yeah, they blood did. It was, yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. But after he rose, mm -hmm. He didn't have no blood. What he, what he had? Because he was still flesh and blood. He, he, they saw him. If they saw him, he was still flesh and blood. Because if he was a spirit, they couldn't see him. Let me finish. I agree. He was not a spirit. Okay. But he was flesh and bone. But there was no blood. Because the Bible says they pressed him in the side, out came blood and water. He shed his blood on the cross. Now, when he came to his disciples, he didn't knock on the door. The book says he appeared. Lord being shut. And you know, and I know, no natural human being can appear and disappear. No, but if you see, if you see that being, it's not a spirit. Can you see a spirit? No, that's you what can't? I just said. No. You can't All right, let me help can you, you see with a that. But by the help of God, yes, you can. You can see a spirit? If it be God will, you can. I'm going to prove it to you. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let, let hold, on, hold on a minute. Let me, hold on, hold on a minute. Joe. Let, me, let me say this. I said a spirit. Yes. We, spirit. we Muslims, yes. we the Muslims, yes. believe yes. that Gabriel came to Muhammad. He was a spirit. Yes. But he manifested himself. He had to manifest himself out of the spirit into flesh for Prophet Muhammad to see him. Now. So if, if the spirit... If this, if, Be quiet, if, please. If Christ appeared here to you today, yes, for you to see, for you to see him, he has to put on flesh. Let me help you. Let me help you. Just a minute. The spirit don't eat. The spirit don't get tired. It don't drink. I agree. It, it's not flesh. You but cannot see it. Would you not agree with God? All things are possible. All things is possible. All right. So, let me explain something to you. I'm gonna show you in the book. Now, when you use the term. He has to manifest himself. Yes. The word the manifest just simply means to be seen. Yes. So but you cannot see a spirit. Let me, let me finish. The spirit, by the power of God, can show himself without being flesh. No, 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 no. Not to the not let to me, the human. Let me prove because it. Because he has to come to me in my human characteristics right. so I can understand it so I can I'm not in heaven let me straighten you out where the spiritual realm is can I give you Bible Job chapter 4 and we we'll start at verse 13 uh, let me help let me help you. Job chapter 4 chapter 4 we'll start at verse 12 and please don't say this is Paul this is the Old Testament <laughs> <laughs> all right Job chapter 4 and we're starting at verse 12 Follow me. now a thing was secretly brought to me a thing was secretly brought to me. And mine ear received a little thereof. My ear got information from it. And thoughts from the vision of the night. What was it? When deep sleep falleth on men, uh -huh. fear came upon me, and trembling which made all my bones to shake. The prophet said I became afraid, and my bones began to shake. Then a spirit passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. And if he saw it, it manifested itself. That's what I'm saying. But the Bible never said it manifests but itself it, as flesh. But Pastor Jenny, Pastor Jenny, listen, I know, hold on, don't hold on. eat the holy God that made the universe. Can do anything. Can do anything. Yeah. And listen, I'm going to show you again where two prophets appeared. 
and they were not flesh. And they came to Jesus. I'm going to show you that. But if they saw, if he saw them. No, you can't add to the book no, and I'm say not. if something was done. Because, then you, listen, as a Muslim, mm -hmm. you must bear witness that Almighty God can do anything. Yes. And you can't limit God down to your we, understanding. We, we can't. We can't. So God, I can't understand. God that. can make something appear yes. and manifest that thing yes. without it being human. That is true. But Pastor, Pastor, can I ask you this? Yes, sir. If God, this is why I don't even, like, well, that's another topic, they're talking in tongues. But if God wants me to understand something, yes. or bring it something to me, yes, sir. it has to come to me in my realm, yes. what my understanding. Because it's for me to understand, it has to come in a world, it has to come into my world. And, and it has to be seen with my understanding of the world that I can grasp it. Uh -huh. He can't bring it to me spiritually. Wait a minute, when, when, listen to what you just said. <laughs> Christ. You say he can't do it? You know, listen, I wouldn't understand it. He can, that's not what I mean. I wouldn't understand it. The, the if disciples, God wants you to understand something, Brother Rasul, he can make you understand the whatever he chooses. The disciples was questioning Christ. Don't say what God can't do, Brother. All right. Don't all do right. that. All right, all right, all right, all right. I agree with you. When the disciples was questioning Christ, yes. and they, they was questioning about signs and wanting to know, he said, there's many things I want to tell you, but I can't tell you because you're not ready for that. Yes. In other words, it's not your brain. It's not, you can't understand. If I, it would be like foolishness to you. Yes. So if God wants to speak to me. Yes. Or anybody in this, he has to come with, with the earthly things that understand it. I know one and one and two. Yes. In, in, let's say in the spiritual world, one and one is three. He can't bring that to me. Right. Because I can't, un I have to understand it in my All right. circle. You understand me? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. But I still want to help you and prove to you, you can see a spirit. Uh, after you read that, I want Exodus. Exodus. Because God is not a man, correct? Not a man. God is not flesh and blood. That's why that's how you know, that's why I tell you, know who's a Muslim. God is not flesh and blood, correct? So, if anybody see God, will they be looking at flesh and blood or will they be looking at a spirit? I don't believe nobody see God. I'm glad you said that. I know you didn't. That's why I want to show you. They see manifestation of God. I see the manifestation Listen. of God. That's why I accept him. No. But I've never seen God. All right. I can see his manifestation in his earth. Yes. In his food, in, you, the, in his laws, in everything, I'm, in his trees, in the birds, in a coconut. I look at a jelly coconut I, and I can see manifestation I want to take you on a But I don't see God. I want to take you a journey. Not even Moses saw God. I want to take you on a journey <laughs> out of the earth. Will you, you want to go with me? Yes, I'm going to take you out of the earth. Glory to take God right into heaven. Finish Job, mm. and then give me the book of Exodus. Job chapter 4. Everybody all right? Yeah. Listen at this. Job chapter 4 and read verse 15. Yes. Then a spirit passed before my face. A spirit passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. And what? It stood still. He saw the motion of the spirit. He saw the function of the spirit. You can't see the spirit with the naked eye. The Spirit of God have to come upon you or deal with you so God can manifest himself to you. I'm not saying you can see the Spirit of God with the naked eye, but God can allow his Spirit to overshadow you and come over you where you can see the Spirit of God in front of you by the will of God. I do that every day. Without him being flesh. I do that every day, the without manifestation. Without him being flesh. I see that every day in the manifestation of God, but not God. That's what I said. All right, I'm going to show you. Come on. Then a spirit passed before my face. Yes. The hair of my flesh stood up. Real quick. It stood still, but I could not discern the form thereof. All right, let's leave that off and go into heaven. I want Exodus. Exodus chapter 24, and at verse 9, at verse 8. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, and said, Behold the blood of the covenant which the Lord has made with you concerning all these words. Now Exodus chapter 24 and at verse 9. Yeah. Then went up Moses. Then went up Moses. And Aaron. Aaron. Nadab. Nadab. And Abihu. Abihu. And 70 of the elders of Israel. And what happened? And they saw the God of Israel. And they... Wait. The God of Israel is not a man. I don't tell you, they never saw God of Israel. Is that a lie? Manifestation. The Bible? God told them, God even told Moses, say, you can't see me. See the bush over there, sir? Yes. You see the bush? He said, you can't see me. It's me. My glory is too good. You see, but you see that bush? I go and give just a little bit of my manifestation yes. to the bush. And that's what it is. And the bush burn up. Yes. 
In Quran, in Quran, he said, God, when, when Prophet Muhammad asked him, he said, you can't. He said, look at that mountain. Yes. And when he put his manifestation on the mountain, uh -huh. the mountain melted, crushed. Yes. You but understand? Listen, the God that I serve mm -hmm. can do anything. Anything. Ain't. But he don't do things that's not. That's you not see, right. the, that's not. What, what you're trying to it, tell me God can't do? He don't do things that don't fit. God don't do wrong. All right? Is That's it, what I'm trying to is say. It, wrong? it have to fit. Is it wrong? No, I said God don't no, do I wrong. No, I know, but is it He's not unholy. He can't do unholy things. It, is it unholy if God, No, I didn't say that. I'm I trying to ask you a question. Yeah. Is it unholy if God appeared to a man? Is that unholy if God choose to appear to a man? Don't think about it because everything yeah, that God do is right. I have to think about it. Uh, here old, on earth, here on earth. Here on earth. Would it be an unholy act by the creator if he choose to appear to a man? I'm not going to say unholy, you but I don't, I, I, I don't think it would happen. All right, let me show you where I it, don't say unholy. Let me show you where I don't it think happened. it would happen. And they saw the God of Israel. They saw the God of Israel. And there was under his feet, as it were, a paved work of a sapphire stone. And as it were, the body of heaven in his clearness. Yes. And upon the nobles of the children of Israel, he laid not his hand. Yes. Also, they saw God and did eat and drink. They saw God and Israel was eating and drinking. There's many manifestations to God. In order to see God, one has to be in the spirit. I'm gonna show you that in the fourth chapter of the book of Revelation. Revelation. And begin at verse one. Revelation chapter four and at verse one. Says what? After this I looked. After this I looked. And behold, a door was opened in heaven. Well, well, all right, now, he ain't looking on earth. The door was open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was, as it were, of a trumpet talking with me, which said, come up hither. And what? And I will show thee things which must be hereafter. He said, I'm going to show you. Telling John, I'm going to show you what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. What happened to John? And immediately John I was, was in the spirit. Earth. Just a minute. Listen, listen, brother Russell. Yeah, Before listening. you can get an understanding, you got to listen. Yeah, I'm listening. And immediately I was in the spirit. Right then. But John wasn't in the spirit. John was taken to heaven when he was showing all those things. The Bible didn't say he was taken to heaven. He was it, taken. No, it didn't say that. Where was and he immediately Where I was, was in taken? the spirit. He was taken. No, it didn't say that. Where did he go? He was right here on earth, and the spirit came on upon him on earth to show him what was in heaven. So listen. when he when he looked uh, when he looked and saw the, the, the person sitting on the throne. And on the right side, of, and I haven't even was there. Nope. What, where was he? Right here on earth. But he was seeing it. He was looking at it. And okay, immediately, well, thing. I, thing. and immediately I was in the spirit. He was what? In the spirit. That's the secret right there. Spirit came a hold on him. Mm -hmm. And then what happened when the, he got in the spirit? And behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. <coughs> Wait a minute, how many did he see? And, and one sat on the throne. He wasn't in heaven because the Bible said no man have to send it up into heaven at any time. But he that came down, John wasn't in heaven. John is flesh and blood. Let me ask you, sir. You believe that God is holy? Oh, yes. Righteousness, yes. 100%. Yes. And see, we Muslims, we don't believe that righteousness and unrighteousness mix. We don't think it mix. I agree. You understand? We don't think that holy and holy mix. I agree. We don't think that, uh, let me not say we, I don't think that God at any time peer on this earth because this earth is an unholy place. This earth is an unholy place. Can I stop you right far there? As far as God is concerned. Alright, can I stop you right there? So what you're There's seven heavens and the lowest he comes to the first. Brother, Brother Rasul, can I stop you? Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is if something is unholy, God is not there. Not there. Alright, if that's the case, if that's the case, if that's the case, when the devil was in heaven, was the Lord there? The devil was not holy that time. At that time, the devil. The, the devil. It was when, when there was war in heaven. When there was war in heaven. Come on, things. brother Rasul. Yeah, hold on. Pastor, there was war in heaven. Pastor, you're, you're quoting Bible to me. I'm mean, not to remember, quote Bible, yeah, but you have to remember, say, I'm not a fully Bible man. But you just said where God is. Yeah. Is God in you? Come on, brother Rasul. You're a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to talk like any foolish Muslim. Is, is, not, is, the, all, is no, no. God in the you? The breath of life is in me. God the, gave me his breath of life. Right, God gave God you. is not in me. Job, not in no. The breath of life which God has given me Who is, is the breath in me. of life? 
It came from God. Who is it? It came from God. But the breath God? of life came from God. God is not me. Me. I me, agree. He's me, not I you. will tell you myself. I'm, I'm corrupt. I agree. I'm unholy. But the breath that's in you. Who and is God it? doesn't dwell within me. He I don't? have to get holy. Joe. When I get holy. All right. Let you me understand? You have to be holy. All right. Let me show you. Become, you become. We're here to live a life Brother to become. Rasul. Let, let me show you who is the breath that's in your nostrils. No, I told you, the breath of life, God gave me life. He, he breathed into my father, yes. which is Adam, yes. the breath of life. Yes. That's what he gave him. Was, he didn't say he went into Adam. He gave Adam, he made Adam, and he gave him the breath of life to make him a living soul. So, Brother Rasul, the breath in your nostrils, mm -hmm. is that the Lord? If God was in me, I would do no wrong. If God is in anyone, they would do no wrong. I disagree, and I'm going to prove you otherwise. Listen. Jo Job chapter 27, and we're at verse 3. Job 27 and verse 3. All the while my breath is in me. All the while my breath is in me. And the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God. Is in my nostrils. Is in my nostrils. Yes, God the gave me life. of God. Spirit of God. And there's only one spirit. Pastor Jennings. Pastor Jennings, if the breath, if God was in all these parts, they wouldn't be rapping for folks. Jake, T.D. Jake. We're not talking about No, them. I'm just telling you, people wouldn't act unrighteous if God was in them. So a person that have God, he won't do no wrong? No, he won't. If a person, a if question? a person have God in him, yes. If a per I'm not saying a righteous person. Yes. I'm saying if a person have God, if God dwells, Within a person, like I will say, yes. God dwelt in Jesus. Yes. Like I will admit, God dwelt in Jesus. Yes. There was no wrong. Was God in Moses? Yes. Did Moses do wrong? No. Let's prove otherwise. What wrong did he do? I'm going to show you. What wrong? I'm about to show you. Tell me. I'm about Wait, to show kill, you. He killed a man? I, no, no, no. That's no, no, self defense. No, no, I'm not talking about that. He I'm did not no even going. Yes, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Let me show you where. Would you agree disobedience is wrong? If the Lord tells you to do something and you do something else, is that wrong? Yeah, of course. All right. Give me where God... Numbers. Give me... Now, everybody listen. Numbers chapter 20. I'm going to show you where Moses done wrong. You know, we went totally off the topic where we were talking about. Yeah, we'll get back to pork if you like. Go ahead, take God. I'm going to show you where Moses done wrong. Amen. Because he agreed that if the Lord tell you to do something, you do otherwise, you done wrong. All right? Numbers chapter 20, and we're starting at verse 7. That's right. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, The Lord spake to Moses, saying, Take the rod. and Take the rod. Take the rod. Take the rod. And gather thou the assembly together, thou and Aaron thy brother. Yes. And speak ye unto the rock. Now Israel was thirsty for water, and they needed to drink. And God told Moses, Speak. Ye, to the rock and speak ye unto the rock speak to the rock before their eyes before the what before their eyes in the presence of the people and it shall give forth his water you speak to the rock water will come out of it and thou shalt bring to them water out of the rock so shalt thou give the congregation and their beasts drink but what did moses do and moses took the rod from before the lord as he commanded him and moses and aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock Yes. And he said unto them, Here now, ye rebels, must we fetch you water out of this rock? And Moses lifted up his hand, and with his rod he smote the rock twice. But what did God tell Moses to do? Speak ye unto the rock. But what did Moses do? He smote the rock. God told Moses to speak to the rock. Moses did. He took his rod and hit the rock twice. And the water came out. Yes, he was disobedient. But the water came out. Because God gave mercy on his people. You, hear, hold on a minute. you said he disobeyed God. Yes, he did. And he did it. And it still did the job. He did so it. So he actually wasn't disobedient. Yes, he was. Because he wouldn't do it. The no, job wouldn't get it. done. What did he say? The job now wouldn't have get done. Chapter 20 and at verse 12. Well, uh, Listen. Go, and the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, because ye believe me not, to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel, therefore ye shall not bring this congregation into the land which I have given them. The Bible said they didn't believe him. Moses and Aaron, it is written, God said, because you did not believe me. So if God told him to speak to the rock, mm -hmm. and he smote it, mm -hmm. he done wrong. 
So why God let him get the water? God let him get the water because of the condition of his people. God loved his people and because he's faithful and what and he promised that his people would not be lacking, he gave them water to drink. Brother Rasul, I'm gonna have to quit. It's a pleasure to have you, sir. Thank you, man. God bless you. Take care of yourself. Yeah. God bless you. Brother. All right. I'm going to quit. Who give me the correct time? Give me the correct time, please. What? All right. You heard the word of God. Let's close out with Acts 2.38. Acts 2.38. Yes. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Brother Rasul, you got this to obey too. You got, you got to do this. Repent. Repent. And be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. All right. No, you may not do it, but God requires it. Never I don't mind. follow the Bible. I don't follow the Bible. Let's follow what the Bible God said. The Bible tricked me all my life. It taught me to follow a white man and a I'm not following a white man. I'm not following no white man. Understand? I go to something else. I'm not following I understand. I understand that there is truth in the Bible. Yes, sir. There is truth in a lot of what you say. Yes, sir. You understand? So I accept truth no matter where I'm it is. And I'm going to grant you I just you come to try to explain. I still disagree with you eating a pork. I know you do. Can I ask you one question before I go? All right. Why did Barnabas and Peter reject Paul? Answer that for the cross. The reason why Barnabas and Peter rejected, rejected Paul. If he was a man of God, I'm, sent by God, let, let, they rejected him. The reason, they wanted nothing to do with him. The it. reason why they rejected him because they were judging Paul by his past reputation. But shouldn't let God me, have, let me explain. I told him, say, listen, this is Paul. Let me explain. My servant. I'm let me explain. You it. You. Brother Rasul. Peter, who should have been the foundation? Brother Rasul. Yeah. You can't say what God should have done. No. Don't I'm not speak for God. God, should have done. God said, Peter, he would build a church. 